Welcome back everybody into another backtesting session. As you can see, we're starting from August 22nd and we're going to close off August and start probably also uh, September. So this week we don't have anything important on Monday. On Tuesday, uh, we have S&P Composite Manufacturing and Services PMI from the S&P and um, yeah, also conferences for the Eurozone. On Wednesday, we have the doable good orders coming up. On Thursday, we have the PCE and the GDP, as well as jobless claims. Also, we have starts the Jackson Hole Symposium, so I think uh, we will have a press conference soon. PCE coming on Friday as well. And then, as you can see, at 10 a.m., we have the Jackson Hole Symposium and the press conference after that um, from the Fed. Mutual consumer sentiment coming in at 4, uh, which is the 10 a.m. candle. Symposium continuing on Saturday, and let's see if we have the next week the proper press conference. Personal confidence, and uh, let's see, ADP, and then we are, oh, okay, we're going to have the um, September NFP. Okay. So no actual press conference apart from the one of the first uh, Thursday of, of Wednesday actually. No, okay, Friday. So let's see uh, what is going to happen. So so far, as you can see, uh, it's going to be a full week. Uh, markets will be waiting for the any news from the Fed but let's have a look at every day what the market is telling us with the price action so as you can see we're coming early into this is New York open so far uh, we have these lows and we have these highs okay as you can see they are being respected we can take any cell below here. Okay, in this case, that would be a loss. Now, let's see if we have a correction on the upside. So we have it, but we don't have any retest of our PSAs that, uh, that I, as I wanted. Even this is not really retesting these highs. So there wasn't really uh, any chance of, chance of entering unless I am entering over here. And that might be it. But let's see if we break above these highs. Oh, we have a retest of these lows as well. So, waiting for this price action to break will end up being a second loss. Price is now then breaking below these last lows. I will want the retest of these lows. Instead, price is simply staying below here. There's no entry over here. There's an entry over here, but. I would have probably waited for the retest of these lows. And yeah, they were coming at the 10 a.m. candle. So after all this price action, let's see the 10 a.m. volume, what is going to bring us to the table. Okay. So uh, that was the price action coming into the 10 a.m. So we have these lows over here we have these possible eyes these last eyes and any further um price sensitivity area that is going to form so this is very weak i will probably will not even consider these buys uh, let's see if we have a retest of these eyes or this one as well so this could be the possible trade idea coming into a further further loss uh, 
retracement. Let's see now if we have a further break and retest coming into late London, late New York session. We have no real further trade ideas. So unlucky that we missed uh, this entry, for example, because uh, we were waiting for um, okay. we we're waiting for a full retest of these lows. Instead, it, I, I don't know if I would have entered. Probably, I don't know. But yeah, that would have been the trade idea for the day, for the winning trade of the day. So now let's continue with the next day. Okay, 23rd of August. We have, we said we have the PMIs coming in later, which will bring some volatility. Okay, this is New York open. What do we have as a possible reference? We have these eyes. And let's see if we create some market structure for the continuation lower. For example, like here. Okay, not, not working. Not even retesting these lows. Possible highs. Yeah, we, we might take the high risk reward buys over here. Okay, yeah, it's finally pushing. Very good. And we're coming at the PMIs. So this one is actually a winning trade, first of the week. We would have also had further opportunities, safest buys above these eyes and above these eyes one two one two so we get our tp it over here and the pmis are showing uh decrease 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 so all quite bad data for the us dollar so we might see continuation bullish yes we see we have this retest of these lows but mainly we are going to to watch it uh, on the next chart. Okay, so we have, as we said, we have this PSA, or this PSA. Okay, we might take this possible trade idea. And that's a winning trade. Okay, possible continuation up over here. Otherwise, breaks out above these eyes. Okay, yeah, winning trade. Now we have these eyes and we are creating these lows for possible uh, correction of the movement. Yeah, for example, this entry could be. Yes, one, two, three, four. So that would be a further win, and that's absolutely great. Also, retesting the key level. Now we are breaking down below. We have this last low to take into consideration, but. Also, these eyes, the possible price can possibly break above. It's getting late, so I don't know if I will take the entry anyway. This is looking good. Yeah, but it's uh, unlucky and gets uh, stopped out. Okay, and yeah, that's that's it for the day. So let's continue. So now we are on the 21st of August, Wednesday, and we have the doable good orders coming in at 8.30 a.m. This is 2 to 10 to 20. Yeah, this is probably the release of the data. 
which is coming much worse than expected and much much worse than prior and worse than expected the ex defense and um, excluded defense and this transportation is increasing non-defense is increasing more than expected but still lower than prior and yeah i want to see the market reaction because uh, so far it looks like a mixed data okay yeah we got the retest of these lows yeah, and it's a loss Not much of a volume. This might be possible push down. But the price is not trending, so this could easily bounce from this level again. Yes, so in this case, it's in absolutely no sense to stay in the trade. There's no volume, there's no mm, di direction. So. I'm simply hoping that the price will push up anyway. Uh, yeah, let's see now if with the 10 a.m. candle, we can see some more push. We can also take this exactly trade idea. The price is now breaking and retesting these lows. Yeah, and absolutely. It will go into profits, but uh, after taking us out because the price is so choppy so that's that's a loss and we still have the the last uh, hour of the session okay so we had this one, as you can see, this one was actually the best entry because now the price is actually trending and we could have taken, we could take uh, actually this trade because we got stopped out over here. And yeah, basically at the London close, it goes into a winning trade and that's great. For the breakout and retest. If you enter over here, that will be a weed. Very good. So let's continue with the Thursday. So we are on Thursday, the 25th, and we have quite a bit of a uh, of, uh, reports. GDP, PCE, and jobless claims. So, okay, so this is the data release. GDP is better than expected. The PCE is basically the same. Yeah, staying the same. Uh, so, it's could, it could push down for gold due to the strength of the dollar, but I want to see the price action coming in because there's not it's not showing a strong volume so i would want to see uh, some clear direction the price is simply bouncing up and down okay now we're breaking down below these lows we might possibly have this trade idea playing out we are still in the range but yeah, this is actually a win. Slowly, but going into profits. Okay, breaking down. Break, retest, and uh, yeah, even until over here will be okay. Not really sure if uh, no, that best should be like 10 pips. But that, that is also a loss. Okay, price now is staying above these highs. 
So we can see a possible correction on the upside, even though it's just a simple spike. Uh, yeah, we might still see it. Okay, now the price is staying above. Yeah, I don't like the price action. Probably this is a break even trade. Yeah, I will leave it as break even. And let's add, yeah, let's get into Friday. So Friday we had PCE coming in uh, decreasing. Yeah, Incre decreasing quite a lot. I think that will push gold up because of the expected um, possible, uh, what's the word, dovish talk from the Fed. Yeah, as you can see, this is the data release over here. So we added back a retest of these eyes. Now I will want to see a retest of this area to push up. This kind of closing so low. We are actually retesting these lows, which was nice. Or possibly entering over here. Yeah, which would be a loss anyway. Now if the price action is retesting these lows, we might see the correction down. And now I will go take the 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 price action bullish. Yeah. We can retest, we can retest. Let's see if we have a retest of these eyes. We have it. Not sure if this will be a win or a loss. I would have to check it. And let's see if also the price stays bullish or anyway goes down. Yeah, goes down anyway. Also, yeah, we had uh, Powell speaking now, so uh, we don't really know what uh, the talk was. Let's see if simply per price action we have some possible trade ideas, like for example, testing these lows yeah not really testing these lows yeah no we don't have the the, the power uh, commentary so i mean we could have taken this one and then one this one we can retest yeah without the the speech it's uh, quite difficult to to see it now let's see uh, we're going to see the last hour of friday okay so we had this then we had this correction so so far we We'll be looking above these eyes or now that we are creating some market structure below these lows so yeah breaking down below we might take this high risk high reward cells which will go into profits now one two okay taking the the break then the profit over there then we have these lows that might be retested and a continuation down. Yeah, so as you can see, entry over here or entry over here would be profitable.
to close off the week. Also, as you can see, retesting these lows, it's absolutely amazing. Dun -dun. And then continuation down. But of course, for us, it's too late. It's after long new close. So now I think we are already moving into next Monday. Okay, Monday 29th of August. And uh, we don't have anything. As per uh, fundamental reports. Yeah, we have now this buy section, this possible retest and continuation up. Okay, for example, and anti, I will say over here. Okay, yeah, and that would be a profitable entry. Okay, we are seeing continuation up, for example, above these eyes. As you can see. Okay. I think that's going to be a win, but uh, we're going to check it later. Um, yeah, so where was the, the trade idea? Was here. Yeah, that's already a win. Okay, now we have this strong PSA. Okay, do we have a full retest? Yeah, that's nice. Possible retest over here. Okay, yeah, and then it pushes up. Very good. Okay, now the price is declining, it's not a lot of volume, it's a Monday, yeah, I don't really care about it, about taking entries. Let's continue with Tuesday. Tuesday the 30th of August. Okay, well, do we have anything? So we had the consumer confidence at four, jobs, uh, jobs, job openings at four as well. Uh, so let's see, let's start with the session. So far the price is ranging. We are now possibly staying below these lows. For possible first trade idea. Okay, it will end up being only like 20 pips and then result in a loss. Okay, let's see if we break above or we have the continuation down below these lows, especially. Possible high risk reward entry over here. Still loss. So the jobs opening are very good. I don't have an idea of the consumer confidence, but let's see the market reaction at it. If we break below these lows, and we test them, then I will take the cells. Even this is a retest of the last low. Okay, yes, and we are good to go. Okay, now one. 
two, three, four. We are also having possible retest of these lows for the continuation down. Yes, as, as I was saying, continuation retest of these lows for this uh, continuation of cells. So now we are at the end of August, last day of August, it's a Wednesday. We don't have much, we have the ATP actually, very early, because on Friday we are going to have the uh, NFP. Uh, so for June, June, July, August, okay. So it was good, bad, bad. <laughs> so we can see how it is uh, it's actually very bad on uh, the last one. So I'm expecting a bullish push on gold. So let's see if we have break along these highs on these lows. Yeah, we're having a retest of these lows. Okay, but it will end up being a loss. This was the retest of the last lows. That's where we will possibly want to have the best entry over here. Yeah, wow, such a low volume. I have to wait for the New York Stock Exchange opening to possibly, <laughs> if we were in this trade, to possibly give, uh, get it profitable. We have to wait more than one hour. One, two, three. Let's see if it actually pushes down. The, yeah. Let's see now if we have a break and retest on the upside. Yeah. Entry would be sketchy because there is no actual retest we are retesting this last candle i don't know if i would be able to enter over there yeah then we have the retest of this last high and key level for a win very sketchy per section i would say uh, due to the nfp the adp but it's also the end of the month and now we're coming into the beginning of September. That is actually the last part of this day. Uh, do we have any further trade idea? We have these eyes, but we are in this trade yet. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So we get our TP over here. We break out and we retest these eyes. That's possible further buy entry. Let's see if there is enough volume. Yeah, no. So this is actually a loss. And, uh, okay, now, but it's breaking above. Yeah, now it's uh, nothing much, nothing really happening. And now, for real, let's start from the beginning of September. We have on a Thursday. And remember that the next day we are going to have the NFP. So the big day, the main event will be to tomorrow. So far we have these highs, these lows, lowest lows, and these. Let's see with the actual news of the jobless claims. Thursday, okay, jobless claims are coming in improved compared to previous one. But uh, yeah, improved compared to previous one. I will also have the uh, PMI at the 10 a.m. candle. So we have a breakout, uh, break and retest below these lows. We saw that the jobless claims are good. So we might take any entry one of two or two. It's very risky because the price just failed to break up below. But yeah, that's not in our uh, control. So that's the only control we have is where and when to enter. So that's okay. That's great. And um, yeah, we possibly have the retest of these lows. 
this could be end of pullback entry i don't really like it to, to take anymore yeah and i also want to do that but uh, i don't really like to take that and those anymore uh based more on the uh, break and retest pattern so i would love to take now the, the break below these last lows okay yeah also you can see this one is quite nice but okay let's see if it gives us a break and retest yeah like that one and then a continuation down okay one two three a little bit more a little push okay so uh i'm not sure if that will be a win it will go into a win but yeah mm, quite sketchy i would say i think it's actually a loss uh, i'm going to check it on the broker now if the entry was at this retest i will check it now we're also now breaking every testing below these lows so we might see the possible continuation down did we have yeah we have the pmis which are coming improve so that should be uh, bringing that should bring us more um, more liquidity on the downside for gold one two three only one two three so just give me a second and i will check with the broker so now let's see it live so uh this if this was the entry over here this one will be 40 pips 14 pips very likely to be stopped out with the with the spread depending on the entry and uh, yeah we would have the next one going to 42 still stay to 10 and then continuing down so this one at least will be a win so this one probably will be a loss yeah this one i will leave it over there because it can be both sides and the break and retest of these lows will actually end up being a win okay and uh, let's see if we have an, another screenshot of this yes okay da, 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 da. yeah that was the sales yeah and that's also the end of the session so now let's move on to the last day which is friday the second nfp day let's see uh the the numbers so okay very da, 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 very slowly okay so this is the first candle and the nfp is coming in improved more than expected but much lower than previous one unemployment rate uh, jumping up so i think that's not good for the us dollar so i am expecting a bullish um a bullish uh, bias i'm not sure yeah where these uh, retests will end this is the last psa we have this candle closing my take a super high sky reward entry over here yes oof and that's paying that's paying off very good next set of buys above these eyes awesome yeah price is staying now above Now this one will be a loss. Okay. Possible sells below these lows. Okay. Right, there was no retest over here that uh, and not not taking the end of the pullback entry as I told you. We might take then the further continuation down, especially if we break below these lows now. That's actually, uh, that might be great. Yeah, we don't. We are bouncing. 
we see a bullish push looks like the momentum is quite in favor of that and we might take the enter here okay uh, yeah and uh, we got a, a loss price doesn't have uh, enough momentum yet it coming into new york Stock exchange opening and that's okay let's see if we have now a full correction below the last lows as well or we see a continuation bullish okay price is breaking down we have these last eyes okay 10 a.m candle bring it above Oof. Sketchy perception, I would say. Very, very sketchy. Let's see the last hour uh, of Friday. Okay, so we're coming at 10 a.m. So we are over here. So we have these last eyes. And not here, these last show lows. 10 a.m. Okay. We are staying above, but there's not a lot of momentum. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, not, not enough momentum for us to enter. And yeah, that will be the end of Friday and the end of the week. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I see you next time.